The proof is in the eggs. The okay. proof is in the fertilization of the see when a mommy <laughs> loves a daddy or another Why mommy do you always, or multiple always, daddies. Love always comes in talk many about forms. that stuff. Love comes in many forms. Always. Okay. Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the egg gods rain fiery vengeance upon you and your family, or are they just arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, we've assembled a highly trained team of serious culinary professionals to put them to the test. This is Myth Munchers! Twerk team! Okay, yeah, we're doing it now. Do Make you like rain. that? Make it rain. Do you like that? Kitcheneers! Today, we are busting egg myths. But guess what, Josh? What's that? Before we dive into your twisted mind, I've got an announcement to make. I have a podcast coming out. Woo! Woo! Another, Another podcast! Another one! What the world needed! Um, it is aptly named Trevor Talks Too Much because guess what? I have the gift of not being able to shut up. Uh, at least I think it's a gift. Uh, but I'm gonna be talking to some of your favorite influencers, TikTokers, streamers, YouTubers, content creators, pretty much anyone you think is cool and I think is cool too. So make sure you go follow on Apple and uh, Spotify and just be ready to listen to me sh not shut up. All right, sounds good. Egg mitts. Trevor, we're very proud of you. I'm excited for your podcast. Thank you. First up. Crew members and how likely they are to defenestrate me. <laughs> keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Nicole, you're coming at the top 97.3%. That is such what? a good you selfie. Simply, you simply, you look, wow, is that, you look is that gorgeous. Golden, golden hour? Um, no, I got my makeup done for something. Don't worry oh about it. Oh my God, you simply have the most to gain from throwing me out of a window, so I kind of got you at the top. Why do you use such what? a good picture of Nicole and then this picture of me? Well, that's my favorite picture of you. Trevor, I, 51% is what I call the Oedipus coefficient. It's kind of like a father-son thing. I think you're likely to kill me. V! What the hell? You simply lack the upper body strength. Uh, we took we took one CrossFit class together. I saw you on the rowing machine. You really what? seemed to struggle. So I'm just saying you couldn't do it. There's me in a window. Come at me if you want to try. That's false. I all open right. all of Nicole's jars. It's true. It's you true. do. You do. It's true. Egg mitts. What do you know about scrambled eggs? They're a. That is absolutely true. It is the ovum of a. I almost said a cow. It is the ovum of a chicken. So first myth we got. We got salt before versus salt in the pan. Every single chef when they're making scrambled eggs is like, don't add salt before you put it in the pan because then it draws out the moisture. It makes it blah. I say hockey. Bull hockey. I don't think it's true. Uh, but we're gonna test it out. Second up. Butter versus olive oil versus bacon fat. A lot of bacon mm. fat fetishization out there. People think that's the best way to cook eggs. I don't believe that. And then we got olive oil. Is it healthier? I don't know. My shirt is simply too tight. I'm not actually a health person. It's really it's tight. Like, it's it's, yeah, so it's honestly tight. to nip that in the bud. Should not have worn this. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> everyone says you gotta add milk to your scrambled eggs and make them fluffy. I don't believe in that. I think it's false. Why would milk make them fluffy? I don't know, we're about to find out. We got milk versus heavy cream versus just none at all. And then we got hot pan versus cold pan. This is what I call the Gordon Ramsay fallacy. He's out there making scrambled hollandaise sauce, calling him. <laughs> Good one. Got, got him. him. Get out of here, Gordon. Ha -ha. But we're gonna test the hot pan versus cold pan method. See what yields the greatest scrambled eggs. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Whoa! Write, write down what you think is gonna be the best eggs. Eggs. I love eggs. eggs. There you You're go. pronouncing it wrong. It's pronounced eggs. Okay, I love eggs. It's called huevos. May I offer you an egg in this trying time? <laughs> Nicole, how do you like your eggs? Fried or scrambled? Fertilized. No, don't say that. It's dirty. Okay. It's, who sang that song? Flint Flossie. Great guy. Look up what? Flint Flossie's stuff holds up on YouTube. He's the greatest creator of our Flint generation. Flint Flossie. Got okay, Nicole, we're talking about salting beforehand versus salting in the pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like made it before. Uh, what do you do with your eggs? Um, I cook my eggs and then I put them on the plate and then I salt them. Utter blasphemy. That is that the most is... disgusting thing I've ever heard. Why? You're crunching through salt on the plate. That's crunching terrible. Crunching through salt? What do I you hate mean? that. It's a textural. Do not salt your food posthumously. No. I disagree with that. False. Why, this is why we've never worked together on Myth Munchers. Before. Yeah, that's why most Like oil and water. Water. We don't mix. The reason people say to not add salt beforehand is that they say it gets watery and tough and they're I actually- agree. I think it leaches and I think it makes the proteins in the egg solidify and harden when actually you want a very soft, custardy, enjoyable egg dish, which scrambled eggs can be. Disagree and tight. Well, the science makes sense, okay, because salt does actually help proteins bind, so that does happen. Uh -huh. I don't know, but we're about to see. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the eggs. 
The okay. proof is in the fertilization of the. See, when a mommy <laughs> loves a daddy or another. Why mommy, do you always? Or multiple always, daddies. Love always comes in talk many about forms. that stuff. Love comes in many forms. Always. Okay, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. We're going Go between like it. a quarter and a half teaspoon right there. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna whisk this up. We're gonna let it sit for about a minute because you know sometimes you whisk a up whole your eggs. Minute. Sometimes you whisking up your eggs. And you gotta go check Twitter. Sometimes you whisk your eggs. And decide you gotta go do a number two. You know, I don't know your life. <laughs> I never do that. Really? You ever eat breakfast on the toilet? No. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so let's crank these pans to medium. Okay. We're gonna go medium heat. We're gonna let the pans heat up. We're gonna add one tablespoon of butter. We just need a constant on this. There's nice. a lot to talk about with butter and pan heat and all that. But we're gonna go like normal Denny's style scramble right here. Sure. I'm gonna follow your lead because I feel right. like you there's there's a bunch of ways to make a good scrambled egg, but tons. I'm gonna tons, just tons, tons. kind of uh, take your lead. What are your scramble, what's your favorite scrambled eggs you ever had? Uh, my own. Actually, that's not true, my dad. My dad makes really good eggs. Dads make the best my eggs. My dad is very good at making eggs. Yeah, my dad used to make just like the brownest omelets. Br I don't, yeah. You know, and they were great though. But, brown dad omelets, yeah. that's a delectable the treat. The brownness of an egg is honestly really enjoyable, but only yeah. if a father makes it. It's true. If like uh -huh. a teen makes it, get out. Here. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Teens can't make brown eggs. Teens, your yeah. eggs gotta be soft and custardy. Yellow. Dads, you have license to brown the yeah. hell out of those. License You're trying your best. Brown. Especially deadbeat dad brown eggs. I don't those know. Those are the best. I don't know what those taste like. Oh. My dad was was a constant in my life. Yeah. He rocks. You Do know. you like my dad? I love. Yeah, Morris is the best. You dude, know, my honestly. dad literally. <laughs> My dad was like, what's Josh doing this weekend? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, do you want to tell him to come over for dinner? I'm like, do you want to watch football with me? I'm like, I think we, I shouldn't hang out with him that much because like, he's my Stop boss. Stop getting in the way of me and your dad's friendship. I know, I'm sorry. He like really likes you though. All Thank right, we got really... medium heat. This okay. has been salted for about a minute and a half. You're going to okay. add salt in the pan? Yeah, okay. I'm going to try salt in the pan. Okay, okay, so let's pour them in. Okay. This is three eggs whisked for exactly 18 seconds exactly. with a whisk, not a fork, because okay. I'm opposed to that. And now just uh, move them around. Go from the inside out, let the curds develop. I like to let the curds develop for like a second, and okay, then I turn do. it off, and then I kind of plate them while they're still a tiny bit wet. Do you know what I do? I go high heat, and I just let it set, and then I go swirl, 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 swirl. So you cook them hard and fast, like you're, like you're at a Denny's. <laughs> yeah. You're a hard, fast egg cooker. <laughs> I like to go somewhere medium. I like to, to linger a little bit. I think my eggs should take about like 90 seconds in the pan. Mm, interesting. These are coming together pretty quick. Why are quick. yours cooking faster Because than the mine. salt helps the protein set. Oh That's why God. you saw it before. Hmm. It's a good method, it works. Yeah, so my eggs are almost set, so I'm just gonna right, take a picture. Give me my, my salt. My eggs are perfect. Oh God, get the salt. Okay, thank you, thank you. My eggs are perfect. I'm plating them up. Okay. Tiny bit wet right here. That's what I want. Boom, perfect little scrambled eggs. Perfect little scramby egg plate. Mine looks perfect too, you know. Yeah, they're, they're the same level of doneness, so there's there's no running and hiding from here right now. Wow, they're like twins. Should we let them? <laughs> we what? should have kids at the same time so we can like raise them together. That'd be really nice. That'd be so cool. Do you have an extra fork? What? Do you have like an extra oh, fork? I thought you were gonna ask me if I have a timetable. Oh, we can talk about that in yeah. the next time right? we're on camera. I'm I don't saying, wanna talk about like, it right it'd be, now. It'd be cool. What are we, which one are you trying first? Let's try salt. First. Let's try, let's try yeah. salted. Dang, they like kind of feel a little tough to. <laughs> This is how I make my eggs. This is exactly how I make my eggs at home. I eat a lot of eggs. I'm not gonna lie. They are delicious. Oh, good play. They are delicious scrambled eggs. I feel like I am at a Ramada Inn right now. <laughs> and I have three sausage links, two bacon strips, maybe like a strawberry, like half a strawberry. A Dannon yogurt and an individual box of corn pops. And a lot of eggs. A lukewarm milk, baby. That is a good egg. I'm proud of you. That's a good you. egg. Okay. Let's note the texture difference though. These literally feel softer to actually <laughs> cut into. Eat it and weep, which one's better? <laughs> oh, Tell no. me which one's better. Damn it, do I gotta change my whole egg technique? Yeah, I know. I think the way that the salt, like specifically the kosher salt kind of like lays on the eggs that yeah. heat, allows the crystalline compound to kind of go into the There's egg. There's like enough steam and moisture for the salt exactly. to almost dissolve into it. Yeah. Um, this is genuine. This is genuinely tougher. Yeah, it is. And, and I've read a lot of things that, that supposedly debunk this myth, right? That say that like these aren't more watery. I would say these are a little wetter. They definitely right? have a little bit more wetness to them. And it's truly an identical cook on them. It is. So it looks like salt in the pan one. <laughs> I'm screwed this episode. I'm gonna wear the Kirsten Dunst cap. Which means that we need to tell V and right. Trevor What's that? Is uh, that the new singular banana phone? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna text him on the banana phone. T9? Yeah. That's cool. I'm checking Tumblr. You have Tumblr? It's just for fanfic. What kind of fanfic? It's like Powerpuff Girls, but not weird. It's SFW Powerpuff Girls. Oh, okay. Most. Oh, ah! Did you just get a text? 
Oh, is, is that what that was? Did you just get a check? I think you got a text. Oh, Trevor, look at my new phone. Oh, I, you got the new banana phone. Yeah, it's better than the it's iPhone. Eight or the nine? Uh, it might be a 15. Looks like it's a salt in the pan. Salt in the pan. That's a nice phone. It's a nice message from um, Colin Jock. <laughs> All right, let's get these burners on <laughs> and get the pans heating. Okay. I think they did it on like medium heat, so yeah. we're gonna do it on medium heat. Let the pan heat up for a bit, mm -hmm. and then get our fats in there. Ooh, um, so we are testing what the best fat is to cook your eggs in. Mm -hmm. We've got bacon fat over here, and then we've got olive oil, and okay. then we've got butter, uh, butter, which is our constant. So we're gonna see if butter is really the best. Uh, we can probably go ahead and get those fats in there, get them melting. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get a I'm just gonna use my finger. Bacon fat, oh wow. How do you normally make your eggs, Trevor? I never make scrambled eggs. I'm actually like scared. Never I, I never make scrambled eggs? There's just so much to lose with scrambled eggs. How? Because if you screw them up, they're really bad. If you screw them up, like I, I like mm. making my eggs, I'm a, I'm a big over medium guy, and if I cook them a little bit light, then they're a little bit over easy, which I like. And if I cook them a little bit dark, they're a little bit more fried, which I like. So we've got all of our fats here. You ready to pour some eggs in? Yeah, I'm ready when you You've are. You've got two spatulas over there. Yeah, we gotta, I do. We gotta cook three different pans of eggs. I'm ready for both. So I'm gonna pour these two in. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it to it. Yeah. Very good, very good. All right, and let's just give them a stir. I'm, gonna get I'm those. ambidextrous once in a while when it comes to eggs. Yeah, it's very good. You you eat a lot of eggs, V. You, you know eat what? more <laughs> eggs, I think, than anyone that I know. I'll come into the kitchen and be like, oh, like we just got eggs like two days ago. Where where they all go? And V's like, oh, I made some breakfast sandwiches. Like, yeah, I feel like all... Josh doesn't eat the other half of eggs. Jo in there. But, okay, it's you and Josh. You eat so many eggs. And Nicole, I eat the least eggs out of everyone in the kitchen. So I, I have the least to lose here. Let me sneak in some salt here. And we gotta make sure. I'm gonna give a little bit of salt, yeah, a little there you pinch. Go. Good love, give good love. Give it one final little stir. Okay, I, I think so... my eggs are almost ready. I think mine are too. Okay, wait, you're you doing really you good. You salt five. I'm sorry, it's because I'm just, I'm focusing on my one pan. I'm gonna... No, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta help me. Okay, look, we're getting a little, see, we're getting a little toasty now. Okay. All That's right. a little ugly. Can you oh, fix wait. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me get it on. <laughs> I the gotta plate. make sure I don't burn I didn't want to use. The, this is a terrible spot for the plate. Who does who designed this counter? There we go. Who put these plates here? <laughs> yes. All right, we're gonna start with the butter. Okay. This is our constant. So this is what we did in the first step. This is what most people use, I think. This is definitely what I use. I used to use olive oil, but then I turned to a butter person when I started working here. Hmm. I mean, mm. that's a good place to scramble eggs. Yeah, it just, it reminds me of just being at a nice diner with my family. Let's try olive oil. I don't really use oil as much when I make eggs because I feel like it makes them wetter. I don't know why. Wetter? I like my eggs wet, but I don't know about oil. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, that reminds that's me That's such an inferior flavor. It's kind of just makes it tougher and I like the fluffiness of these a lot better. It, yeah, and I don't know why, it's just that Having no butter flavor in your eggs makes them like yeah. not enjoyable. No, it just kind of just makes it oh, yeah. depressing. Like I don't that's like not that at even all. supposed to be an option. All right, okay, bacon, bacon fat. This is my first time trying a bacon fat with my eggs. Mm, I'm gonna be real honest. I'm a big fan of that. You are? I think because I love bacon and I don't eat a lot of bacon. Mm. Just because I get away from it. Um, surprisingly, I'm a turkey bacon fan. But it does add some good bacon flavor. I mean, it's bacon fat, so obviously. I just don't know if that's what I want in my eggs, though. No, I would I would want my eggs separate from the meat. Like I wouldn't. I don't like mixing that flavor like together. Like if, if you're eating bacon with breakfast, then you like if you're eating bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. Why do you need more bacon flavor in your eggs? Right. I think butter might be the winner. It's just a classic good flavor. Okay, we gotta let Josh and Nicole know. Should we uh, Should we send him a Maggie message? Yeah, we should. What's the answer? What Trevor and V find out? Oh, it's a Meggie message. It's a Meggie message. Oh, we got a Meggie gram. Oh, you should have told me it was a Meggie gram. Yeah, it's a Meggie gram. There it is. What is it? Oh, okay, butter. Butter, butter. one. Butter one. That yeah. makes sense. So, ba yeah. bacon fat's a little bit overrated. Um, all right, so we got to test out milk versus heavy cream versus just none of that, just the eggs. Yeah. What do you think's gonna happen? Are you a heavy milk, are you cream? A I'm no, a heavy I'm cream a, girl. If I'm eating eggs, I want to taste What'd the eggs. What you guys used to call right? me? The milk, milk, what? Cream, cream lady. Well, the there you lady. go. I'm the cream lady. I call yeah, yeah. you a uh, butterface. People say Nicole's <laughs> so pretty, and I say, yeah, but her face doesn't define her because she's also a wife, a good coworker, and a good standing member of the See? Jewish community in no, Los no, Angeles. No. no, we were like totally gonna say like, oh, Meggie, butterface, whatever. Now it's on me. Flipped it. Yeah, but I made it positive. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. Butterface That's just is good, a clean fun, everybody. Butterface <laughs> is a compliment. <laughs> it is. Butterface doesn't define her. People choose to be body positive. I'm universally body I'm negative. We're mine. all gross as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're turning these pans on to medium. What do we got? Oh. 
Ooh. Oh God, it smells like gas in here. That's not good. We're on medium heat. Uh, Nicole, I'm gonna add this milk. I think we're just reaching over hot yeah, burners. Yeah, be this careful. Rules, dude. All right, I'm gonna turn this down to medium. All right, so I'm adding whole milk. People say that this makes a fluffier scrambled egg. I don't know if I need my scrambled eggs know. extra fluffy. Okay, we have to whisper 18 you know seconds. What I mean? 18 One seconds. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, your flat seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen. Mississippi, Mississippi. Oh. I skipped one, I don't know. <laughs> all right, add butter, butter, butter. Butter all these pans, are these hot? Yeah. I would say so. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I got butter in the pan. I'm going, let the butter melt. Do a little, do I have to cook too? Am I cooking too? I can cook too, I'm ambidextrous. Actually, my brother's ambidextrous, but he's more left-handed, but he calls himself ambidextrous because he wants to be like unique. God, Nicole, it's the I most interesting thing I've ever heard in my life. What a story. Do you have any more stories about your yeah, brother's yeah. Uh, dexterity? My, my family rocks. One, two, three. Go. Oh, shh. If we see any difference right here, I mean, uh, the creamy one looks super creamy. It's like literally just a, a, it's a color grade of just like more pale yes. to less pale down here. Correct. I have no idea this is gonna turn out. When I grew up, it was like, I thought my mom was just adding milk to the scrambled eggs to like stretch out the budget. Yeah, um, I'm sure that's a thing. That's the thing, like you'll get more volume. I just don't know if it help. actually tastes better. Help. What do you mean help? No, I can't do it all alone. Here, I'll shake the pan. I need your assistance. Okay. Oh, look at that dexterity. All right, salt. Okay, okay. Salt. Can I have a Salt. Oh, thank you. Salt. Two more minutes on these eggs. Did I say two more two minutes? minutes? Like, like one second. I don't know time. What kind of game really are you I really struggle playing? with time. I struggle with perception. Okay. Turn it off. Oh, what do you want to start with? Let's go heavy cream first. What, no. This, who gave me the baby That makes fork? no sense. Okay, what let's go normal egg. Normal egg. Normal egg. Normal <laughs> egg. All right, let's try the normal scramby eggs. Mm -hmm. That's a great plate of eggs. Okay. What do I eat in the morning? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Give me a pint of ketchup along with them eggs and I'm a happy man. They're so good. Tastes like eggs. Get into the mm -hmm. whole milk. Really ambidextrous right now. They're not fluffier, they're just milky. You just milked your eggs. That's all you've done. Is it a more enjoyable eating experience? It's fluffier, but I don't think it's a more enjoyable eating experience. Huh. I don't know where I'm coming from. Okay, now heavy cream. Hmm. I'm no longer- Do you longer, like that? I'm no longer in a Ramada Inn. <laughs> I'm at the Four Seasons, baby. <laughs> Do you like it though? I really because like it. You do get the extra dairy flavor. You get the extra fat. Yeah. And to me that like, I think if you do this, you do have to add more salt to it. But it tastes so much better. Mm. Are we calling heavy cream? If we call heavy cream, it's definitely like. That's a political statement yeah, if we call heavy cream. Yeah, I know. And and I, I think at this point in my life, in my career, I'm ready to make those kinds of statements and like stand by what I really believe in because at this point, like I just need to do that. Nicole for Congress 2022. <laughs> heavy cream in your eggs. Yeah. How do we tell them? I think we need a whole grassroots campaign and like an advisor. Okay, cool. Who do you want to hire? Oh my God, uh, the guy from Veep, Dan. You have a favorite? Dan, he's hot. You have a favorite? Yeah, or okay. the guy from uh, Licorice Pizza. I haven't seen it. Hey, we just got a robocall asking if we would pledge our support to Nicole for Congress. Yeah. 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 That means heavy cream one. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So we do. We got heavy cream whisked up with the eggs. Now we're going hot pan versus cold pan. Cold pan is the big like Gordon Ramsay method. He does a lot of other stuff. He puts a lot of cream friche in there. Like you have cream yeah. friche on hand. Get out of here, you classist wonk. So uh, I'm gonna put. Grab, give me some butter. Give me some butter. Say put, please. Put the butter. I don't like to. I don't like to show gratitude. So we're gonna put the butter in there. We're gonna put the eggs in a cold pan. And we're gonna scramby it all together. Uh oh. oh. Hot dog. <laughs> oh, if you Aww. thought I was infallible and perfect and never make mistakes. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this on to medium heat, let that go. You wanna heat that pan up and get some butter going in there? Sure, absolutely. And then I'm gonna add salt to this because we found out adding salt later leads to more nice. tender, more delicious eggs. More things happen, yes. Yeah. And now we're just gonna, now we kind of sit here. I'm know? bad at cooking eggs. Trevor's bad at cooking eggs? I don't like cooking no, scrambled okay. eggs. Why? I don't know, I just don't like it. These, like the first thing V did when she got to the mythical kitchen, like we, didn't, <laughs> we never even like met her in person. We walk in and she's like cooking eggs in here. Yeah. That's and not true. Sex. I feel like that's, that's how awesome. it happened. <laughs> All right, so the butter is naturally gonna melt. They say that cold pan creates like smaller curds, gives you a more custardy egg. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, I just don't have the patience to do this. All I know is no matter what we find out in any of this, I'm not changing how I make scrambled eggs at home. Why would you want a more custardy egg? I want my What's custards custardy and I want my eggs eggs. I agree with that, man. You want your eggs eggsy? Yeah, eggsy eggs. Eggy? So like eggsy. Eggy. 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 No, that's uh, right. eggy. eggy is that character Skip from that movie. Down. No, it's Skip not eggy, it it's Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Dang it. And 
Butterface doesn't define her. I met Maggie's parents when I skateboarded to her house. She's a daughter. Those are her she grandparents. You know nothing right. about her? You know nothing know, about Maggie. Oh, was your parents? Josh. Oh, no way. Yeah, I met her parents. They were going to the Van Gogh exhibit. Wow, cool. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mom and dad. All right, these are almost done. Nice, God, I can't, why do I suck so bad? Take them off the heat, it's getting a little bit hot. Your we got some nice small curves. V, just just throw an elbow into my ribs. If I'm elbowing you, Do that's you want a little court. No. Okay. Call your own fouls. <laughs> no, I actually don't. Right. I, I I really don't want to cook scrambled eggs because I don't believe I'm enjoying that's this. Fine, if we, we have some do. nice small curds in this one, I'm gonna ladle it out individually. I'll eat. The, I'll slurp the ones off the counter. Hey V, can I have yes. some salt? Don't please? mind me. Yes, Ow, dude. May. Wait, can someone turn the burner off? It's burning me. Yeah, I got. Ow. No, I never mind. I don't want to do it. I'm okay. Okay. Got you. All right. Cold pan eggs are done. Look at them. They look like eggs. Don't. What do you do? Okay. Did you eat an egg, Josh? Yeah, yeah but I'm not. Why didn't you wait to. for us? I, re don't I mostly think about what eat you're eggs eating. with my hands out of the pan. Don't think about what you're eating. I'm not. I, I never do. I never do. I'm going to eat it like a duck. All right. Which one are you going to try first? Well, you Probably already the tried the one. Uh, I don't one. remember it. I literally, yeah. there's so We're many times I put food cold. in my mouth and I don't remember Here doing you go. it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So cold pan, they say smaller curds, creates like a nice, more tender -er egg. Tender -er egg. That's pretty tender. I just burnt my throat. Mm. That is a tender egg. <laughs> Ooh. You gotta chew, but you gotta chew your food. I didn't even chew it, I swallowed it. Yo, never underestimate the power of a good egg. This is That's a, a yeah. very good this egg. This is the happiest I've ever egg. been in life. I what? wouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Got eggs in the throat. I like the curd structure of that egg. This is good. I'll tell you what, I like you. that. I'll Ask tell you, you what. Please. Thank you. Bowl of eggs, this is a hot pan. Hot wow. pan. Hot, hot pan. pan. Butter was melted. I think I'm just better at cooking eggs. <laughs> you, like, <laughs> like, no offense. Do you see any difference in like the curd structure or whatever? Yes, yeah. mine right? is like, definitely. the one that I made was definitely a little bit softer, it goes down the gull a little bit easier. This one has a nice chew, which I think, you know, there's merit there. I think it's literally because you're getting more heat over a longer period of time with the cold pan method, right? Mm. <laughs> like you're almost yeah. bringing it up, whereas this, no. you can almost sear it's the slow. eggs hard and fast and keep them nice and wet when you put them into a hot pan. Yeah. yeah. Right? Wow, well, I think we got our answers, folks. I'm gonna put my hand over the one that I think I'm is. I'm still eating. We all got a high cholesterol. One, two, three. Hundo yeah. pee. Ooh, I got egg on my arm. Ooh. Excuse me, yeah, that, might that have was been an my egg. egg burp. All right, Myth Munchers, that means our perfect scrambled egg. You salt it in the pan, you cook it in butter, you add a little dash of heavy cream to make your weekend Four Seasons eggs, and then you put it in a hot pan. Now, let us tally the scores and see what we have all procured. Weird word. Trevor, what'd you do? My name is Trevor, and I believe that it will be salt in pan, butter, milk, and hot pan, and also you should listen to my podcast, Trevor Talks Too Much, when it comes out on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I got three out of four. I missed milk, uh, but I think that's pretty good for never eating scrambled eggs. That's pretty good. Trevor's a scrambled egg virgin, but not in other aspects of life as well, we learned. No, during... I, I like never as in I don't usually eat them. I never... haven't eaten them before though. But yeah, totally. Like yeah. with your, your girlfriend in Canada who totally exists. All right, Nicole. <laughs> How many did you get right? Hi, my name is Nicole, and for this episode, I wrote salt and pan, butter, heavy cream, and hot pan, because I love to make scrambled eggs. I got four out of four! No, Nicole with the queen oh, sweet! I know she's what I'm champion. doing. Butter winning doesn't define her, because she's also a wife and an upstanding member of the Jewish community. V! Hi, my name is V, and me and eggs are like this. My prediction is salt before, butter, milk, hot pan. This is not avocado. I got two. That's not bad. You know why I don't think that's bad? My name is Josh. My lifetime egg count is well over 3,000. I guess salt before, butter, no milk, hot pan. I also only got two. I think we <laughs> yeah. tried as hard as we possibly could. We wrote uh, the same you, thing. We both drew. You look like a three-year-old drew an avocado. That's pretty solid. It's a squishy opened egg. Trevor and I drew the same egg. All right, so let's queue up the digital scoreboard, making more work for our editors. We didn't discuss that before the episode. To see the cumulative tally and who has to wear the Kirsten Dunst cap. We got Trevor and Nicole at the top of the leaderboard at a cumulative five out of eight. V and I are at four out of eight, technically at the bottom, but also technically in second place, which is a silver medal, which if you do that in slalom skiing, you, you get on a Wheaties box in Bulgaria. Slalom skiing? Slalom skiing. Slalom you do the like. Slalom. Dude, you're hitting the Yankees Blinky! Everyone, hit the Yankees Blinky! Yankees Blinky, you can't see me. All right, stop. What do we really learn today? Do we learn a lot about egg cookery? Sure, we learned about the proteins binding. What we really learned is that if you eat six eggs in a day, you will feel pretty sick. 
And we're honestly trying to get out of here because like we've been burping a lot and the fart corner is getting pretty saturated. We also <laughs> learned that the eggs are the real friends that we made along the way and that Nicole is running for Congress whether we want her to or not. More YouTubers in government, that's what I always say. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, make sure you click that bell to subscribe and get notifications. It's honestly a really big help for us. Listen to Trevor's podcast. That's me pretty cool. TT2... M. I don't know. Trevor I've talked too much. That's a M. Uh, and... Uh, you can also find us on TikTok and Instagram. We're at Mythical Kitchen. We make a lot of fun, wacky stuff. Or if you don't like wacky stuff, we don't do that at all. Just subscribe. Just follow us. We need the attention. It's what we <laughs> thrive on. That and also eggs. I literally can't feel your heartbeat. Yeah, there's just too much chest muscle. Also, we learned that I need bigger shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother! Hey, you! Cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.